Guten Tag, Observer, und willkommen in Zoom in this episode uh, of Let's Play uh, uh, Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines. Um, we're going to back to the cafe. We have a side quest there that I want to explore. Well, at least we should. Uh, hopefully it's been cleaned up since the thugs we killed in the last ones were there. Um, in a previous episode, we... Uh, we sided with Jeanette. I can't talk to her. Um, there was a, well, yeah, I can. Well, she's not saying anything. But um, there was a little bit of argument. Uh, apparently, Teresa and Jeanette are the same person. Um, and during their diatribes, I sided with Jeanette, and that was interesting. Um, and surely I got some experience off of that six experience. Okay, so um, give me one second. What? Blood buff. I'm gonna waste a blood buff here, but I have a I have a suspicion. Blood buff. Uh, not allowed in this area. Um. Disciplines. Does blood buff raise your wits? Does it raise everything? Um. Cause I'm thinking if it did. I'm, I'm curious if it raised wit. Because um, I noticed whenever we were fighting, whenever I was rewatching the footage, <laughs> I noticed that uh, whenever we, I was fighting the Blood Guardian, um, that he, whenever my whenever my buffs were down, he did a considerable amount, considerably more damage. Um, and I think um, the... It wasn't presence, was it? I don't know which one it came from, but I'm wondering if I should put a point in stamina or if I should put it into wits, save it for wits, because um, basically with this loadout, if it added two to wits, that would have jumped my defense up to five, which, what else? Wits goes up to it. Um... I'm worried about putting something in the stamina. Oh, we did get shot a lot. It didn't do that much damage to us, I don't think. Um, so, but I, I really want to put a point in stamina. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I should put it in uh, fighting or not. I think I'm going to put this point in stamina. Might as well. Um, hopefully bashing uh, blunt weapons. Uh, I don't... Let's just go ahead and do that. I would like to be able to put it in um, lethal, though. I mean, that's by far what um, is more dangerous to us, I believe. Because um, we've ex we've been explained that bullets don't really hurt us. Um, but others, let me get some blood here. Oh yes, darling. Let me show you how sorry I am. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so now we're full blood. If this doesn't raise my stamina, I'm going to be kind of mad. <laughs> um, I think I'm able to use blood buff during a masquerade. Huh. Okay. Let's go to the cafe. This is probably going to be um, a focus on side missions type ordeal so far. Okay. One, I don't even know what Lilith looks like. Um, but imagine if... Look at all this blood. <laughs> they need to clean this place up. But I imagine this old lady's been working here a while and would have seen her. Uh, have you seen any pale, kind of strain types in here late Is at night? That a trick question. <laughs> um, jeez, thin blood would be kind of weird. You see a couple in here a few months ago, surfer guy, pretty girl. Let me think. Oh yeah, about 
about four days a week. <laughs> I like this woman. Okay, um, I guess, have you ever heard, heard the term thin blood? Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Not quite. Um, try to remember. Where did where do you think you heard it? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Maybe some strange pretty girl said something about it recently. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Weird. She left a tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Mm. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you were into her? Thanks a lot. I'll be sure to do that. I'm pretty sure she drank her blood, ma'am. <laughs> There's no other reason for her to stay the whole night, and do not really uh, have anything else to say about it. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. So I got Lily's belongings. Uh, I wish it would kind of pile up on once so I can see everything all at once. Okay, so we got multiple things. Um, first, let me look at my experience. Obviously, I love to level. Oh, man. I, I, I'll try not to speak like that ever again. I want to... Our hacking's at four. It would take eight points to get this up. Eight points. We only have three. Eight, eight, eight. That's not coming up anytime soon. Appearance. I'm not really going to go into higher appearance, I don't think. Just enough to get those, um, to s seduce the women in the bar. I think that's about as high as I need to go. Range and inspection. Eww. No, that's not coming up anytime soon. Um... That cost eight. I'm thinking dodge. Well, no, let's let's go ahead with because uh, I remember I, I I increased wit recently. Um, let's go ahead with um. Let's go ahead with melee. That brings us up to four. Okay. Oh, it's still telling me I got items. Is it done? Okay, let's see what we got here. We have a diary. Chart remains just... Oh, uh... Locked myself in the bathroom. Is there something I'm supposed to do with this? I know was, I gave her the locket. Um... This. I should have read this whenever I got it. I, I feel stupid now. <laughs> okay, bail bond. The bail bond is one of was one for Rolf Tolton. Rolf Tolton. Rolf. Rolf. I think it's Rolf. Rolf. Yeah, it's Rolf. Okay, Rolf Tolton. We got a purse. What well, can I do with that purse? Girl's photo. She looks like our ghoul. Wallets, lodgings. Nothing else of real importance, I don't think. Like, I was supposed to get money off of that, I think. I don't remember getting money out of it. But, oh well. I guess we'll return it to her once we find it. Let's see. Got a tire iron. Let's go to the pawn shop and sell some stuff. Um, nah, nah, that's a waste of time. Um, let's, let's go to, uh, we have a bail bond. So we could probably go to the bail bondsman. Who, if I remember correctly, we've seen it before. It was down one of these alleys. When, when did I see it? I know I was looking for something, and I happened upon it. 
Was it while I was looking for... Well, we found it, regardless of how I found it. Um, I'm trying to remember what, why I was done. Uh, no. Oh, well, that's not important. <laughs> okay. This is, uh, Kilpatrick's Crime Pewter. Let's ask if we can use it first before we use it. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24-Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Um... <laughs> I'm new around here. I had a few questions. Sure, pal. What is it? Have you heard yeah, about the murders? Yeah, seeing there was a murder down by the pier, just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore them up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. Could be. <sighs> more sure, questions pal, if you don't mind. Curious about your business. What do you want to know? Yep, sure no. this place. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. I don't see any employees out there. I a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa hmm. Monica. <laughs> Santa Monica doesn't sound like a good well, place to be living. This ain't bad, I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone downhill. Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher volume now than we did a few years ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more bail jumpers and crap like that. Get many people to jump bail? I'm trying to see if it leads into uh, me asking about Lily. Does she have... Well... It's gonna be an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. I can't believe I'm the only one that's figured it out. Am I the only person alive that can see what's going on? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Okay, you well, found another one? I don't feel right cutting costs and loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. I'm sure. Well, I mean, I, I suppose I it could. The first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card that lets you in. Okay. Got any more questions? What is it? That's all. Okay. Well, he didn't give us permission to use it, but my email, I, I suspect, lets me use it. Let's do email. Holy fuck. Fuck, that's good. I don't know, but my hacking, I think, is pretty good at this point. Freedom. chicken over the competition. Why? Freedom. Some good chicken. Your father. Author, your father wanted me to write you to tell you that he has a boil that is three inches across. <laughs> you really need to come visit and see this thing. Love, Bob. Wow. Okay. A through F. We're looking for. Here's your money, ma'am. We're looking for Toten, I guess. I happen to have a granular problem. That's it. Bramer Combi. She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. Something familiar about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow. I I should probably go S and Q since that's who I'm looking for. To make the most of their special situation. So that girl from the Uh, Toten. Okay. She wasn't like everybody else. Totten. Come on. Oh, I like the whole DOS stop. thing going I'm on here, even though that this is, uh, I guess it's, it's trying to emulate the 90s, I think it is. Um, no, obviously it says 2003. 
So obviously it's not that in the 90s like I thought it was, but anyway. Immigration, K663321. Bill on amount 15,000. Collateral car, red lightning. Red lightning bird. 77. No, let's go back to the Germania, pal. Patented, timely spirit. Oh, go back to Germany, not the Germany. We don't like, we don't take the Euros in these parts. That's the reason why you let them off. Like, well, detergent of the future for cleaner plates and whiter teeth. Last year, Democratic candidate Michael Redmond spot sports utility vehicle. Three months later, America. two separate incidences of hit and run by an unidentified SUV in his area. His Democratic candidate Michael Redmond's money. Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thor. I don't want to know why it's called money. Oh, there's more. Candidate Michael Revins no, that's it. Oh. His opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding something? Would you want okay, to quit. For voting on this nation's laws? Okay. Who do you trust your children's future? To While I'm here, we have a license, right? No. Oh, I know what happened. I had an issue. Robert Thor. Where my game crashed on me. Um, so there's a second dialogue option that I'm missing here. <laughs> um, yeah, my game crashed on me at one point. Um, I, I think I was uh, mentioning that I was having a, a memory leak um, that was going on. And I, I believe that was from alt-tabbing in and out too much. And I did... Um, it was in the asylum. Uh, wait, didn't I talk to him? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> this guy. Um, his... his uh, you can tell that it's him because um, he's got the vampire pride on his back. That makes me happy. Um, darn. But yeah, I had a memory leak and I lost like some footage. And I, I can't believe I didn't come back for this guy. That's That's horrible. <laughs> The master you couldn't talk about? I guess I can tell you. Oh man, his name's Bertram Thumb. It's no Sparatu. No kidding, small world, I'm looking for him too. Oh, man. I wish I knew where he was. I, I know where he is. Around. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh man! I mean, he can't just kill him. Up here! What do you mean, he just appears? What do you do for Bertram? So what's the problem? I'm upset. I want to like interact with this and like be all excited and stuff, but like, uh, it's already happened. I already went through this, and I feel like it's breaking the immersion factor for y'all. I apologize for that. Hopefully I won't have any more technical issues in the future. Sounds like he's messing with you, man. Want me to take care of it? Driver's license, shouldn't I tell you who he is? Alright, I'll take it. Alright, see ya. Okay, so what happened? Like, so, like, there's no, like, <laughs> um, no, like, dishonesty, I guess. 
Whenever I talked to him, what happened was, after I got done talking to Jeanette in one of the episodes, uh, yeah, Jeanette, it was before I was going to talk to the Guardian, I came down here, talked to this guy, and then I decided to um, go on to take care of the Blood Guardian guy, uh, which of course I didn't know he was the Blood Guardian at that time. Um, but I went to go into the building. Um, the front was locked. And I didn't want to pickpocket the front because I was afraid of, there was guards around and stuff like that. And then I talked to the guard. And while I was talking to the guard, the game crashed on me uh, with the blue screen of death, um, which, I, which I knew because uh, was bound to happen because I was having some memory leaks, um, which isn't pro happening now. So hopefully that won't happen again. But we need to go back to the Bales Bondsman. I suspect he gave me a license... Let's see what this license said. I didn't stop to take a look at it. license. Name of the license is Virgil Crumb. We, we did see a crumb. Okay, so back to the crime pewter. Hurry on your way to the apocalypse. Always room for Bail bonds. <laughs> oh, they're the worst. Um... One of my previous landlords was a Bales Bondsman. It's funny how this game is, like, relating so much to my life. <laughs> okay, Crumb V. Okay, drunk and nudity. $5,000? What? I would, like, lead the revolution against the government if I was charged $5,000 for public, public nudity. Oh, well, no, that's just the bail. Well, I would, I would still raise it. Why would I be in jail for nudity? Like, just slap me on the wrist and tell me to get some clothes. Not throw me in jail and, like, have... Well, hold me in jail till a court date. Jesus. For all the religious people, sorry for saying Jesus like that, but oh well. Okay, so. Wait, what did we learn about him? Oh my gosh, I just blanked. I, sorry, I, 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 I apparently have some political issues. <laughs> and I forgot everything that that computer said about him. <laughs> um, I just got distracted by court systems. I've been in court. It's not fun. Um, that email, A slash F. Dude, man, you shouldn't let people use your computer like this. You're going to get tons of viruses. Held in medical clinic. Okay. Oh, did I accidentally use the blood buff? Plus two strength, plus two stamina, plus two dexterity. Okay, there we go. So now I know. Now I know. That it was probably, in fact, the blood buff that raised my stamina to uh, fight the, the blood guardian. But um, without him damaging me so much. Um, so maybe it was good that I raised my stamina. Okay, so now where we go? We got two options. This one's closest. Um, find a guy's car. And... Then we could go to the hospital to get crumb. Okay. This one's close. Where's his car? I imagine it's a parking lot. Okay. Why wouldn't that be locked? We have a tire iron and a diary. Can I get the tire? I already have a tire iron. Okay. Maybe I should read, duh. Okay, we have two diaries. Um, it seems to be a woman's, uh, woman's diary. I met a guy at the asylum. He's so beautiful, oh my god. And his name is uh, Rolf, and he is from Germany. Oh, a German eh? European men are so classy compared to boring California boys. He asked to see me tomorrow night. I wonder if he's rich. He looks rich, of course he's going to look rich. He's traveling. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and pick up something that wouldn't make me look like a big, big fat pig. Can't wait to see him. 
I think it's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wants to give me something very special next week, and if it's what I think it is, it's about damn time. How much? How? It's been a month? Okay. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. What is she expecting him to give him after a month? Um, unless, like, you don't give someone sex. I mean, you have sex. So, like, what, what is that something that he's special to give? It's obviously not an engagement ring. I mean, um, but that is a common misconception about um, Europeans being more open sexually. That's not true. Okay. I mean, they're more open with, like, seeing nudity. That does not mean that they are more... Well, I guess there are nudist things, but that doesn't mean that they're sexual creatures. Um, I have a whole video on that on my blog channel. Anyway, I woke up at 9 p.m. today. That would be strange in itself, except I don't remember going to sleep last night. In fact, I don't remember any... Oh, she got bitten. I woke up late again. I can't... I haven't eaten anything for days, and I don't know what's wrong with me. Rolf came over last night. He said the reason why I hadn't eaten was because I needed blood. He said it was also all I could eat now. And I wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had got a bag of it from the local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I couldn't. What's happening to me? Ralph said he was going to have to leave the leave soon. He said people are trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about me taking me with him. I tried to bail Ralph out of jail today. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's going to leave. I haven't seen or heard from Ralph since the night I bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why would he do this to me? Talk to some guy I met at Surfside until 5 in the morning. When I told him I had to go, I felt like Cinderella. He seemed like a prince. I met a guy from the Surfside again. He has no idea what I am. I brought ye, the guy from Surfside, back to the apartment last night. He said he was going to Australia in a few days. Now the tournament's coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I've never felt like this for someone. Not even Ralph. Okay, so... The next day... How much time has elapsed in here? Okay, so she went four months without writing between Ralph and meeting E, I think. Okay, so... When I explained... Okay, so he kissed me last night and I couldn't help myself from biting into his neck. But I drank too much, and I gave him my blood to save him. When I explained it to him, he said he never wanted to see me again. What have I done? Um, I haven't been able to feed since last night, since that night with E. I'm afraid what will happen. I remember Ralph bought blood from the blood bank. It has been five months since you've had blood, woman. What kind of vampire are you? <laughs> Okay, maybe if I can sneak in, I can grab a few bags and get out before anyone catches me. Okay, I have an issue. I have an issue with this. Okay, so she hasn't seen Ralph. She hasn't seen Ralph in five months. She hasn't seen Ralph in five months. Then why is her diary in Ralph's car? Why is her diary in Ralph's car if she hasn't talked to Ralph or heard from Ralph or suspect that he has left the country five months? Okay. Did he just come back and was like, oh, I need to, I need, no, he doesn't even have a reason to off her. Or anything like that. Why would he come back and steal her diary? And where is he now? Um, that is obviously a plot hole here. But that's that's okay. We, we'll, we won't go off about it. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I j did just go off about it. But, ooh, what's happening here? Talk to me, bro. Nothing? Why is there a police car here? Did I track the police? Oh, the noir! I see. Crime scene. Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. What's going on here? Some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. 
Everyone's a critic these days, huh? I hope they catch the guy, or person who did this by now. Okay. Sorry, I had to situate myself. Why is she allowed back there? Why is he allowed back there? And I'm not. Okay, anyway. Time to go to the blood clinic. Okay. Oh, my back. Of course, you don't want to hear me complaining. Okay, now last time I was here, man, I hope none of y'all have epilepsy. Okay, she's gone. He's probably still mad at me. Oh, poor security guard. <laughs> I see they haven't cleaned up the blood. I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. Okay. Didn't I blackmail him? I probably should check my mailbox. <coughs> okay. I think we broke into this. Okay. So, blood bank. Let's go down here. Okay. So, how do I get to the morgue? Need a fix? I need it in the back Employees room. only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. Who's the, the queen, queen bitch? Oh, that's probably uh, that one woman. She did, huh? Queen bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. Go ahead, call her. Opened. Okay. I mean, probably would have gotten away with it anyway, because, I mean, I think it's Jeanette now, and Jeanette's kind of cool of me. Um, let's see. How would we... I don't think I've been back here. There's a computer, but I'll see what's up. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, freezers. That is a Y. <laughs> Sorry, I have a German keyboard. It's it's difficult writing English in German with a German keyboard. Okay. Password. I have no idea. Uh, ambrosia. Okay. Uh, temperature. I don't know how that would help us. Negative two degrees. That's that's kind of bad. Why would you have blood near negative two? That's like you run the risk of it unfreezing on you. Okay. Passcode. Nineteen sixty nine. Awesome. Wow. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we don't need to see you, sir. <laughs> Let's see. That's locked. Laundry room. Oh. What's happening here? Oh, wrong one. I have two experience. That's nice to see. Let's make as much noise as possible, shall we? Let's see a body here. Is that him? Let's go over here. What is up with his eyes? Okay, that one's yellow. That one's red. How did he die again? I don't know. Let's see if this is the same guy anyway. Uh, big nose. Yeah, I guess he has a big nose. It's hard to tell, but... Let's see. Imagine this stuff is in... Oh, okay. A silver ring. Foxy Box's key. What am I... 
Relating to the Asian Empire. Okay, well, thanks, game, for telling me about it, even though I wouldn't have, uh, really... The, the game kind of just spoiled me. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, there's a computer there. Let's see what's up. Cadavers. Maybe we could see why he died. Didn't the, did the computer tell us why he died? I think it just told us that he was in the hospital. Crumb. V. Heart failure. Okay. <laughs> Probably got drank dry. Okay. We can't get into there. Well. Imagine this is three and this is a cool one. Um... No. Oh, come on. I definitely can't fit in there. Am I able to move these big boxes? Nope. Okay. Huh. Get that over there. Let's see, 1969, is that correct? Oh, it didn't like that. Apparently this game doesn't like um, number pads. Could be that I have a German computer. Well, no, it registered it as numbers. Might not re recognize the characters. Okay. Oh, what? What? Why? Hunger. What? I need it. A drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain, lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. Blood? What happened to you? Oh, it's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's Never what? Mind. What is this? Why? Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Calm down. Let me go. Okay, I'll let you go. Huh? Huh? You don't look well at all. Sweet mother of God! <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Look at me in that weird way. The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was... Euphoric. But I've I've Okay. <laughs> For a second there I thought she was deranged, but now it seems like uh came over me. She snapped out of it. The beast took over. It happens. Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? It's alright. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry and I can't hunt in town. They caught me and I was trapped. Trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but Killed a man. I have to get out of here. Uh, who are My you? Name is Lily. Oh, well, obviously I knew that, but I mean, for some reason, it's still registered in my mind. Oh, okay. E, you know E. I. How do you know E? Um, he asked me if I knew anything about Thin Bloods, which is how I found you. I said I'd help him. What do you know about Thin Bloods? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A Thin Blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. That doesn't really help me that much. Well, my sire, 
told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. I think I understand. He left me with so many questions, and I did the same thing to E, but I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I, I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. Uh, you should go see E. Did we have that dialogue? Like, I can't remember if he regretted not being with her. I can't remember. E doesn't hate me anymore? Quite the opposite. I'll go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't rescue you, pro bono. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Goodbye. About tonight, what I did... Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. I should probably tell him. Um, not because, like, I want to, like, backstab her or anything, but... What's happening here? Go and let that bitch out. There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well... You know what? No blood for you. No <laughs> uh. That's interesting. A missed opportunity. Guns make people cocky. They never appreciate what a skilled hand married to a knife can do. All you have to do is get close enough to cut off the trigger finger or their face. You like to talk, don't you? I want to hear a story. Tell me, what's the best way you violenced up someone? I want to hear every grisly detail. If I like your story, I'll sell you some blood. Um, I, I wish, wish I had an intimidating option. Blood comes from out of the living, from all kinds in a red torrent. Crimson seep at the speed of a heartbeat. For each drop, a teeny bit of life shed. You don't care how it's got, as long as it is. You'll be begging for it, and not getting any. Is he a vampire? Or is he like a ghoul? I think he's a ghoul. Ugh. So, he's... He's been drinking thin blood. Well, he's been draining thin blood. Blood don't grow on trees. What can I do to make up for the free girl? Go. I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. I need a new body. Find another donor, and I'll whip up a fresh batch. Uh. Blood comes from out of the living. From all I know that, sir. A red torrent. A crimson seep at the speed of a heartbeat. I need blood, though. I mean, I do feed a lot, but I can't feed in the middle of battle sometimes. You'll be begging for it and not getting any. Okay. Blood don't grow on trees. What can I do? Don't you let that one go. I have to go out. I don't want to do this. This is probably going to cost me a tremendous amount of humanity points. But luckily, I am in a surplus because uh, I just saved a woman. So. Find another donor, and I'll whip up a fresh batch. Where should I look? Who owns me and this place runs the asylum. Lots of young, stupid blood there, like the putrid, stinking, vagrant blood we so often get. Don't shed any at the club, though. No, 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 no. The misses, she don't appreciate it. Ugh, that's rough. <laughs> I don't like doing this, but it is what it is. Um, I did visit the morgue. I think we've... We have the foxy to check out. Um, I guess we'll simply do... Uh, the Asylum, followed by, um, 
Let's then we'll go to the beach and then no foxy. No foxy's closer, right? Um. Yeah, let's go to the asylum. Regardless of what I choose, that's the first one anyway. Asylum, follow the red lights and the poster. Oh, I hate bugs. Okay, I, I don't really want to do this, but I mean, if I want blood, this is just the way it has to be done. I wonder why Phil would cooperate. He seemed human. Oh, well, let's get rid of her. Um, not right now. Do I need blood? I do need blood, but... Who can I talk to? Hey, you. Oh, I can do it to her. There's a dope party over at the blood bank. Oh, I'm sorry, I mistook you for someone who lived on the edge. Hmm. I guess I'm going to the blood bank then. Not enough of this place anyway. Oh, I feel bad. There goes my university girl. Ugh. Okay. Well, let me talk to the guy in the clinic and... Obviously, it's going to take her a while to get there. Probably not, according to game logic. But make sure that that's good enough. It makes me feel bad. But, oh well. Oh, what am I doing? Blood bank is right here. I, I need to see how much conscience I still have. Oh, my humanity's pretty high. <laughs> I say that as one of my first humanity drop points um, with, shows blood down the hallway. Sweet girl you sent up made the other one seem like sour milk. Real bleeder, lovely thing. Least... She used to be, but she'll live on in your heart, won't she? Need a bag of her? <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, boy. Blue bot blood. Let's get a normal blood pack. That's all I have money for. I feel bad. Vandal, employee of the month. <laughs> Poor Phil. Poor, poor Phil. Okay, let's go to the Foxy Rocks. Well, the Foxy place. Is it Foxy Roxy? Well, no. Blood Bank. I think it's on. Is it right? Okay, it's on the asylum side. Okay, let's go to the Foxy Roxy and then the beach. And then I guess we go find Bentram, I think. I don't know where he is. <laughs> okay. Asylum. There it is. I'm actually impressed with myself for being able to see that from far away. <laughs> far away as if... Anyway. Well, three doors. Which one to choose? Oh, not that one. <laughs> Disoriented myself. Let's go back in. Another loading screen. Refer to your quest log. With whom you need to speak to. Roxy Roxy. Fragile. Oh, for a second there I thought I could have some coffee. 
Wonder what that'd be like. A vampire on caffeine. What's up here? Reports. Ten. Oh gosh, this is gonna be troublesome. Um, where is that key? Uh, there it is. Oh, it's the wrong one. Okay, shift seven. This is this is what I don't like about German keyboards. Um, that it's not really good for like programming and stuff like that because all of the backslashes, forward slashes. Um, and stuff like that are behind other keys instead of out in plain front like an American keyboard. My initial observation of the city indicate that their Canaanites here are both scattered and unorganized. There are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of dispute. I shall watch and listen. Ten. Eighteen. I might have to plug in my American keyboard to do this faster. Those Canaanites are serious and fragile race. They waste their gift on their immor their gift of their immortality on petty schemes, scheming and fleshly gain. We will have little problem making this our own. This city our own. Ten. Twenty-one. Oh four. It seems that my presence here has been noted by one of the Canaanites, uh, Nosferatu. I believe that they are called. He has entrusted the responsibility of my surveillance to a bumbling mortal fool. I've begun to follow this so-called spy. A small, amusing respite from my usual duties. Why would you waste your time? Obviously, this is the Asian dude. Following our, uh... Handy idiot. Ghoul. It seems that I have drawn the attention of a newcomer, an agent of the prince. I know very little about this individual, but they seem to be more resourceful than most canines than I have observed. I will prepare myself in the event of our paths crossing. Ten slash. So this happened not too long ago, so that kind of gives us the date. It's in... Um, October. We're currently in the, the month of October. The agent of whom I spoke before has discovered the corpses of Vigil Crumb. An altercation seems imminent. How do you know I discovered Vigil Crumb? If I do not survive, let my last record state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. You will find little resistance if we come here if we come here in force. Okay, so basically, the only, unless he unless he was watching me go into the blood bank or whatever and come out, um, or he could have just wrote this as I was using the magnetic strip, which I find highly doubtful. Um, so, let's see where this goes. Do, 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 do. Did I just leave... Again. Oh my goodness. Game designers. Um, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. That's all I gotta say about that. Um, should make it more obvious what's the exit and what's the entrance. Ooh. This is a warehouse. Um... I think I know what's going to go on here. These look like things you can easily jump up on. Four corners. This is a arena. Okay. I have to be careful because I don't have as much blood as I did in the other one. But I do need my blood buff. I do need that and that at least. Oh, he doesn't have as much defenses as the other one. This is no, this is like cake. What, what? Oh, that was amazing. That wasn't much of a boss. Come on. Ugh. 
That, that was nice, though. I mean, it was much easier than the last one by a long shot. We got some weapons. Let's check them out. 20. 18. So, this one's 18. I thought it was originally 14. Or is that how much damage I do now? That's a good question. Um, yeah, it goes up with me leveling. Um, because that was like a 12 and this was a 14. Okay, so I need another point in melee for this. Um, my feet adjustment is negative one. Base damage is two and we're up to 20. Lethality is 11. So this is what we're gonna be using from now on. I can sell the rest. Um, let's see, ranged. I'm definitely not qualified to use this. Oh, what's the damage? 836. Lethality 16. Ooh, negative 7. I don't know where. Um, the firing rate high. Medium. Small. Well, base is higher. I mean, I don't know what's that negative 7 is going to do, but we'll go with that. I wonder, we only have one crossbow bolt. There has to be. There has to be some ammo here. Does it repeat itself? Nope. Complete waste of uh, arrow. Is it a repeating crossbow? Is the question. Um. Was that all? Let me check my journal. I gotta tell Knox. That was that was a disappointment. <laughs> um maybe I just made myself I couldn't have made myself that strong. Um But I guess I will go tell Knox. Um Any asylum. I might as well talk to Jeanette while I'm here. But I think this is a good time for uh well, once I talk to the Jeanette, I will, uh, I think this is a good time to stop. I need your blood, ma'am. Oh, of course. Where did we live off, leave off? Oh, I remember. She's, oh, she's still leaving. Oh, I like that. Do they have a replacement for her? Please have a replacement. Oh, I accidentally tried to feed on him. <laughs> I did, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Could you tell me where I could get some weapons? Okay. Right okay, let's go talk to Jeanette, and we'll visit Trip to see if he has any better arm um, armaments than he did before. I highly doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Of course, we just got a weapons upgrade, so I don't see. Well, I don't want to check the restroom on her. <laughs> um, is there anything here? Email. Wishes. The lady by the sea is far too beautiful to be chained to the Camarilla. Jack. Jack's that guy from our introduction. Okay, next. It's far too beautiful to be chained to the Camarilla. Uh, subject freedom. Who is the beauty? Hey, are you going to... What are you doing Friday night, Mikey? I was thinking about stopping by the club. Maybe we can do some <laughs> dancing. Have we met Mikey? Teresa is my city. Okay. You dirty little slut. How dare you meddle with the affairs of my city? 
with that disgusting Nosferatu, nonetheless. I'm dis- From- I'm disgusting. I'm not the one who let that Nosferatu touch me. You can't see that he's trying to tear us apart to take over my city? How could you? And now my gallery too? I'm going to show you a little something, Jeanette. The sun. <laughs> awesome. Contacts. Doing a little hacking. Call me. Mikey. Mikey, ya hooligan. <laughs> uh, Jack, who's Jack? Jeff. Okay, it's just got numbers. There's no reason. I was hoping she left footnotes. What about this one? Let's see what was going on in your crazy little head. Email. Email. One Baroness. <laughs> Typical. Baroness three. Nectar of the Gods. Miss Verona. Your humble servant has Vandal the Cleaver. Oh, okay, yeah, we know who Vandal is. He's uh, the employee of the month at uh, the blood bank. Your humble servant has done all to provide you with the, another batch of the finest uh, sanguine spirits, and I apologize for not pouring them when you asked. La next time, last time, forgive me. Unlike you, I'm an imperfect being. Julian Johnson. Halting company. Miss Uberman, I'm really sorry to do this, but the men won't work here anymore. They say it's haunted. Jeanette, why are you so mean? Bertie's not so bad once you get to know him. You're the disgusting one. No, your bitchy attitude is tearing us apart. You need to cool off. Why don't you go swim in the Pacific and look for your pendant? <laughs> Imagine that has to do with... Uh... Well, why don't you know about the pendant? Okay, anyway. Okay, that's it for this episode. Um, in the next episode, we're going down to the beach and probably going to talk to Bertram as well once we find him. Okay. Um, oh, man. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, continue on with me as I make my journey through the game. I am glad that there was no stuttering. Um, the memory links leaks seem to be gone. As apparently, this game doesn't like being alt-tabbed out as a reference. Um... Anyway, that's all. I uh, hope to see you in future episodes. Auf Wiedersehen.